uh, and they, they moved to Williamstown and they needed somebody to work full time in that thing. So, yeah, and um, then I started uh, contract distilling. So, I still made my, I, I was still distilling my own spirits because I was there, I was a part of the team. Um, but it was all coming under the banner of Bath uh, Park and Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's how I started and uh, slowly. Um, a few few months back, my dad came and just like he saw my my enthusiasm. He was like, "You go for it." So by that time, I had already ordered the still from China, and I had already bought these two pallets of uh, bottles, for which I still haven't got the labels for yet. So I'm going to be rebranding the other still bit. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, and my dad was like, "I can see the light in you. Why don't you uh, set up your own thing? I'll find." I'll fund you for the first year for, for whatever your cost will be, uh, just the ongoing cost. So they have to this. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so I've, I haven't taken a penny from it. Uh, it just started. It, it's just how it had to roll. I just made it a little push. And um, yeah, mm. and here we are. Today. Okay. What you viewers are not seeing is behind that camera, there are like a whole stack of containers and they have all of the beautiful Indian spices that you would associate with Indian cuisine. There's fennel, there's ajwan seeds, there's orris root, which is a fixer for your gin, so incredibly essential. You've got cardamom, you've got fennel. So behind the camera is a veritable variety of beautiful spices. It's a very tasty smell in this distillery, <laughs> but no doubt. What, yeah, what, when what you walk in, you've got no doubt where this man's heritage is. No doubt whatsoever. So you're going to, obviously you're brewing Indian flavoured food. Right, not brewing, so distilling, no. get it right. I'm sober. I intend to be drunk later, but I'm sober now. Um, trust me. No one's white, Girl Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're... Obviously, you're sticking through to your Indian heritage. Um, is it all you intend to do? Because at the moment, I've tried your gin and I've tried your vodka. And okay. And are. also, we'll put some images up, like somewhere up here, of what they are. They are the Desi Double Vodka and mm -hmm. the Asian Spice Gin. Hopefully, up there. Yeah. Um, so, I've come up with a bit of a for the video. I think the image you just suggested it. Um, <laughs> So yeah, your your so third question. Um, all right, I'll answer. Your statement <laughs> to your Indian heritage. Yeah. Yes. Which seemed a rather smart move. Um, it is a really tough market to work in because there is no products uh, of the uh, the the genre that, that I'm, I'm trying to get into, and people have got no idea what to expect. So when you go up, like technically speaking, India's land is spices. So most of your flavored spirits, your beers, your IPI, they all originate from India. And uh, India has, it is so deeply into the spirits, boiled spirits cultures, that, uh, that it's, it goes way far behind that we can think of. Um, and um, Sticking with this, uh, definitely I have to, because for me I started with a hobby and uh, this is something that I'm passionate about and I want people. So I'll tell you how it, it actually started, where the, uh, the, the idea actually came from this. There's a couple of different things that led to each other. Oh, please do. Yeah. So I went out there having a drink with a, with a friend of mine, a Scottish fellow, uh, I don't think his name is Scott. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott the Scott. Yeah, Scott the yes. Scott. Um, and um, so major major from um, X22. Who they promote to a major? He's major major. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah. From <laughs> yeah. Uh, So yeah, we went so out. You're to Scott the Scott, and you're drinking scotch. Oh, we, we just got to the bar. So I was like, yeah, first first one's on me. I said, like, well, what are you going to have? What do you like to have? It's like surprise me. So I went there, my regular drink before I started creating my own, was Lagavulin 16. I absolutely love it. And um, so I got a glass for him, I got a glass for me, we started talking, and he was like, there you go, with the paste. 
And I was, um, I was like, yeah, well, from being from Punjab, like Punjabis really, really drink the ones who do. Like most of the Punjabi, or half of the Punjabis don't, but the people who do, they really, really drink. And I was like, yeah, well, blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. So we tried all these different points, and uh, I like this, 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 and this. And I was like, yeah, well, what are you saying? Like 90% of them are from Scotland and Ireland. So this is what we have given to the world. And what have you brought to the table? It's like, well, we've got a long lineage. And it's like, okay, if I want to have an Indian drink, where can I find one? Right. <laughs> yes. so I have to get back to that. So I went back home and researched and I couldn't find it. So it's like, um, yeah, well, sorry, mate, you can't. It's like, but people just distill it by themselves and they put all these botanicals in it and uh, then you get the spirit and then you enjoy it. But, but that's not satisfying. I don't know what I'm drinking. I wouldn't be interested in it myself. If I buy it from somebody, I don't know what they have put in it. And all the all fake questions. I was like, okay, yeah. So that was one. And then when we got through, when the COVID, when, just right at the beginning of COVID. Um, so we're talking 2020. 2020, yeah. Yep. So I started walking a lot. And I started losing a lot of weight. So I went down from 99 kilos to 74. And a mate of mine, he was like, well, I've got a friend here, and he's, he lives in New Zealand. Um, and he's, he's like, I've got a mate of mine, he's really into tracking and stuff. Why don't you make your hobby into something a bit more lucrative? And uh, you, you buy this equipment, and like he does, uh, like he has, and he takes his uh, uh, group on, uh, on hiking, and they stay there overnight. So he gets to do it for free, he's making money off it, and um, he's living his life the way he is. Like, it's okay, I know that I've done this, but uh, this is not my lifestyle. I want you to do it, I have done it, but um, I, I love eating, I love drinking, and I'm going to put it back on, which I have really. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's a 174 page Yeah, no, not anymore. Um, yeah, so that got me thinking. So um, I was thinking about it, and I was like, now, nah, what should I do? Should I start reviewing the uh, spirits? And uh, I've, I'm doing it for the first time with you here, like making an online presence. I'm not good at it. Um, so I thought, maybe at, at that time I thought, I was, it's, it's not my time. So I didn't do that. And after that, um, yeah, I slowly yeah, I got across my mind. I was like, yeah, I can give it a shot. So yeah, and that one thing led to the other, and I got into this. Can you tell me um, the, the lady has at least half the three quarters of the distillery that we know of. Or at least here in Australia. Yeah, in Australia, it began during the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy, um, because oh, the guy's yeah. actually a truck agent. And I think after six months of that, chasing a wife in my house, she got tired of having a beat me and said, oh, why don't you just piss off and do something else really tired? Yeah. Actually, a good portion of the micro distilleries here actually did get started during COVID because they were gin drinkers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone got. Forward and place. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, the sad point for us was I realised just how much of my life was within that five kilometre radius. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone was drinking, an awful lot of creative, interesting people like yourself got bored, oh, fucking shit, place. And we're, oh, I've got to do that with my time, otherwise I'm going to get fucking nuts. But then again, boredom is the seed of a lot of beautiful, beautiful yeah. things. We keep on saying to our kids, don't be afraid of being bored. Okay, why? Well, if you're bored at your tree, then the interesting things happen because you, you'll go out and do something. It's like, how do, you, how do you create an engineer? What you do is you give a weed smoker a, an ounce of weed and nothing to smoke it with, and they will go out and they will build oh, yeah. the bomb. Oh, yeah. So you, if, you, if you've got a weed smoker or a drinker and that, they're like a heat drink, now go and do something with it. Necessity is the one that you mentioned. Yeah, with all engineers. And so it's, <laughs> this indigenous thing, you know, I was doing COVID, I was bored, check up, over COVID, I, would, I had all the spare time. And yeah, I mean, there was the same during COVID of where we would say to our wives, oh look, stop nagging me, I'll get around to it when I've got the time. You know? And after the first four months, it's a case of, okay, asshole, you've got the time, you go out and do it. So all the repairs and cleanups and that were done during COVID because we were all bored, we had the time. Yeah. And yeah. it's still the same way. 
sometimes we just have to look at the setup because I think it's the same in Chinese that uh, if you put a seed out there on on the uh, on, on the on the soil just up there, uh, it won't grow mm -hmm. until that dust settles on top of the seeds. Uh, it's it's not going to pick pick the water and then start growing. Mm -hmm. So that dust has to settle. So once it does, then then you actually end up uh, growing a lot more if you need that. Yeah, that's that's we had six months at one point to do a lot of work in the time. Yes. Uh, having said that, my full time job is as a planner uh, with Metal Friends Melbourne. So oh. I was busy. Ah. So, so life is incredibly busy. At the yeah, and I've got a one year old. Life is busy so, and nuts. So, <laughs> so what do you do? You might until they start walking. Oh, I can't wait until they start walking at all. And when they start doing weather, it's going to go, Oh, will you shut up and sit still? Uh, what do you do when, when you get bored? You try to look for something else, right? Mm. Mm. So I've got three things. Mm. And I can just switch from one to the other. And I'm doing something productive, something useful, and things that I can do. And go wrong. That's good. And That's I, good. I like all three. I love it. Oh. Oh, I as a mature dad, being a dad for all, I think that's good. Let's go and they're going to go And we've got a couple of GTs and that sort of thing. Oh yeah, and then, then we start thinking that we're fine, yeah? Yeah, no mind at all. Hey, Sorry, hey, 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 here's the horrified look at the number of dad jokes that I've had to sit through, endure and cringe at. <laughs> and here's me coming out frame. Hi! So, where to now? Because we know that you're only going to be doing Indian um, flavoured so, or Indian style of gin of spirits. Actually, Duncan, take the other seat. Okay. Please. I feel slightly guilty now that I've taken like that much time, so sorry. <laughs>